Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I have something exciting to share with you. Hosford sent me a mixer and so I get to open it up with you and kind of walk through all the features that it has. Um, so let's go ahead and get it open and get started. Um, so this is a household stand mixer. So it is a tilt head um, and it has some kind of neat features. So we got our user manual, which I'll just put that to the side because we will definitely be needing that. All right. In here is one of the first of three stainless steel accessories you get. Okay. Now this one does have the silicone um, attachment or the silicone blade to it, which I've said on my channel that I've needed for a while because I get annoyed with scraping the bowl all the time. Theoretically, this should help me and make it so I don't have to scrape the bowl. All right. We also have a dough hook. There it is. Okay, also stainless steel. Okay, um, the stainless steel is kind of nice because then there's no coating on it, so it's not going to flake off or break into your food and you know, should be pretty durable. So there is the dough hook. All right, let's see what else we got. Okay, the M5 stand mixer here does come with the splash guard or the plastic cover, if I can get it open. There we go. All right, so that's nice. Um, it will help you have access to the bowl so you can put all your ingredients in and you know should keep it a little cleaner which uh, my husband will appreciate since I tend to make a complete mess in the kitchen all right and there she is the mixer herself let's see if I can get this out without too much trouble Okay, so this mixer is unique to anyone that I have seen is because it's got like an LED screen up top, which is kind of cool. It has different um, programmable, um, you know, features that you can run. So if you need to cream your butter or if you want to, you know, set the timer on it, you can do that, which is very cool. Like I said, it is a tilt head. Okay, so there's a little lever back here. So the lever, lever here to looks like bring that up and down. Okay. All right, and then we have our third stainless steel accessory. So this is a obviously the whisk. Um, this one does have sixteen wires, which is a couple more than the one my other mixer that I have. So that'll be interesting to see how that works. Um, it's also shaped a little bit differently, um, theoretically better to fit in the bowl so you don't have those awkward edges um, or the gaps in your bowl, okay? Now, there's another cool feature here too. There's a little light right here on the mixer. So when you are mixing your dough, your, you know, um, cake batter, whatever you've got, you can actually see in the bowl a little bit easier, which is nice because, I mean, these, all of these mixers take up a lot of room, and so you don't get to see in the bowl very much, and it blocks most of your light, so I, I'm kind of excited about that little light. Okay, let's see what else. We also have, there's a little front attachment here um, where you could put some optional accessories like the meat grinder, and I think they have a noodle um, what is that? A noodle maker. <laughs> Forgot the word for it right now. All right, let's see what else. Um, there is a little spot back here where the cord can kind of, okay, there's suction cups on the bottom of this guy. And so it kind of holds it in place really nicely, which is nice. <laughs> um, I'll show you those real quick while I'm thinking about them. But it does hold those uh, the mixer in place so when you're mixing something like dough and it kind of jumps around on you, 
it shouldn't with this suction cups. Okay, there is also another attachment location on this one. Um, I had to look at the manual a little bit. but So on top, if you push that down and open it up, you can attach like a blender to the top here. So that's pretty neat function. Okay. Um, and now in the bowl itself, um, stainless steel bowl again, there is little measurements which is kind of cool. So if you needed to know like how much batter or about how much batter you have in there, um, you'd be able to tell. I think that's kind of a neat feature. Um, now, like I said, there is some programmable features on this. Um, so in my future videos on the Hosswort mixer, I will show you how those work. Um, but there are 11 speeds to this mixer. So you can go anywhere from just kind of like slow mixing up to like whipping. Um, this is a 500 watt DC motor. So instead of the alternating current motor in some of your other household mixers, this one should be a lot quieter. It says it runs at 70 decibels. So I'm pretty excited to plug that in and give it a try. Um, but yeah, I think that pretty much covers what's in the box. Obviously I have some reading material that I need to go through. Um, this is the, the M5 model. So if you are curious about um, this model, please subscribe because I'm going to be um, releasing a couple videos showing the mixer, comparing it to my other household mixer that I have, and just kind of showing how it works with different doughs and um, batters. And so we will go on that little adventure together. So subscribe for the series of videos on this. Um, if you are interested in purchasing this mixer, um, they are $259 right now on Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description below. Um, but if you use the code 15 Beatitude, um, you will get 15% off. So again, check the description below for that code and the link for that. Um, but otherwise, I'm looking forward to getting this all plugged in and ready to go and start making some new um, treats. And I hope you will join me. So as for that, I will see you next bake.